Greetings there everyone, this is TechBizmo and welcome back once again to another video. Today I have a upgrade guide on an MSATA solid state drive in for the Dell XPS 12. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, upgrade process. Okay guys, for this uh, upgrade video I am going to be using my iFixit ProTech Toolkit. Um, I am not sponsored by them, but uh, <laughs> I do love their toolkit very much, so that is what I'm going to be using in this video. Uh, specifically, you will need a T5 bit, so that is a Torx 5 bit, um, as I said, from the iFixit uh, Tech Toolkit, uh, as well as a J1 uh, screwdriver, uh, screwdriver bit right here, and this is going to be for uh, the other screws in the shell, as well as the screw for the solid state drive. So uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and set the I fix a kit aside for now because that is all we'll need. So I just have those screwdriver bits there. Actually, we'll go ahead and grab my Torx 5 bit right here. And then we'll grab our lovely Dell XPS 12 and go ahead and shut her down. So just go ahead and shut that down. And then we'll flip it over. Of course, what I like to do, and this is something that I, that I recommend all you guys do is that you lay down some kind of a microfiber cloth or towel or something just to keep your uh, area or I apologize your laptop from scratching you know keep the surface of the laptop from scratching um, one thing I actually do have is a rubber mat and that is something you could also do you know like an anti-static rubber mat that is also another cool uh, lovely tool you can use for a uh, laptop disassembly and stuff because you know it keeps your laptop safe from static discharge so we're just going to start by removing all of the Torx 5 screws from the outer casing of the laptop so uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that Alrighty, so when you get to this part of the uh, disassembly process, what you want to do is you want to get some kind of plastic spudger or something and uh, just pry it under the little XPS logo cover right here, and then that should just pop right off. Uh, yours might actually be uh, glued right here, so it'll just be sticking to the bottom right there. And then what that does is it, as, is it exposes a PM2x8 screw head. Now, once you have gotten that done, you can go ahead and just lift this cover up. I recommend doing it from the the uh, right side if you're face if you're facing the back of it, of course. Uh, and then you want to angle it, and then just back your way out slowly because there are some you know USB ports and power switches that uh, protrude through the casing. And uh, here we have the Dell XPS 12 interior. You can see this looks very, very nice. I really do love the, um, the design of the interior of this Dell Ultrabook. It is just such a nice design. I love the big battery that's taken up space here. And then uh, what this video is about is uh, our MSATA SSD. Um, so what you want to do, of course, navigate where your MSATA SSD is, and then go ahead and just remove the one screw that is holding that SSD down and save the spot for that screw because we will be use reusing that later obviously and then what this will do is the SSD will actually lift itself up you guys can see right there uh, this is okay don't be worried about it you'll just want to basically grab by the corners and slowly back your way out and voila the SSD comes out um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a 128 gigabyte, gigabyte SSD. Um, we've got our flash chips over here, as well as our DRAM cache, all that sort of stuff. Go ahead and grab your new SSD. We're just going to be throwing the original one back in here. This actually is an aftermarket one because the original one um, decided to die on me. So just go ahead and, and uh, put it in, in an angle like that. Then fold it down flat and grab your little Phillips screw just put that right back 
where it came from. This part may be a little bit tricky. And then just tighten your screw just enough. Uh, be sure not to over tighten or you might, you know, tear PCBs or something. I have done that in the past. Um, and while we're here, I might as well tighten that screw right there. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that is, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, that is how you upgrade the solid state drive in a Dell XPS 12 or uh, just a MSATA solid state drive in general. So, uh, yeah, obviously this wasn't a, uh, you know, data transfer video. Rather, that will possibly be in the future. Yeah, then uh, after that, of course, you just put your shell back on. You want to, when you put the shell back on, you just have it at a little angle, like you guys saw there. And then, that's uh, that's pretty much it. You just put all your screws back in the appropriate, the appropriate places, as well as the XPS logo cover. And, uh, yeah, as I said, that's it. Let's just... Uh, just go ahead and put your screws back on. Alrighty guys, and uh, yeah, the upgrade is that simple. Um, as you could tell, that was really, really easy, you know, when compared to some other upgrades. Of course, Dell decided to use these stupid Torx uh, screwdriver, these stupid Torx screws in the base of the laptop. But other than that, uh, it's a pretty straightforward and uh, easy upgrade process. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, go ahead and uh, be sure to leave a like on this video if you liked it and uh, dislike it if you disliked it or if you hated it, basically. <laughs> uh, leave a comment. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe as I said. And uh, yeah, be sure to check out some of my other videos. That is youtube.com slash techbizmail. Thank you guys very much for watching and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.